All right, we're back many hours later, and this is several videos into this little series and episode. So we're, I think, 10 hours in. If you look right here, right where that peak is, that is where I made the last video and I shut off the vacuum and we were going for the rise. Remember we were going for the vacuum decay? Well, that was the vacuum decay. Then I told you, you have to look at the last video, what exactly I said, it's been 10 hours and I've been working all day on my own project today. But it's been uh, a while and I hooked up the hoses like I explained in the last video to this tank. And as you can see, the tank is 50 microns right there. But you can see the field piece. Here's the field piece software, 39 microns, because the micron meter sensor is right here in the middle of the manifold. So the vacuum from the hose, this is the shortest route and it's right at the micron meter. So it's reading 39 microns, but then it has to pull vacuum through these long hoses that are refrigerant hoses going right to the tank. And if you remember from the previous videos, I was able to get the tank down to 26 microns. And then I hooked up the whole system and I opened up the valves so I could pull vacuum through the hose, through a known good tank that is dry, tight and clean so we can see the difference. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the vacuum sourcing. See, it's 10 hours later. If we come right here, that's hour two when I perform those other videos. If we come all the way over here, yeah, if we come all the way over here, come on. Okay, it wants to uh, not work. There it goes. There we go. Now we are into hour 12. Time, 12 hours, 16 minutes. So the peak was two hours, 12 minutes. And now we're 12 hours. I've been gone all day and I just come back. So the vacuum pump has been on for 10 hours, a total of 10 hours with these refrigerant hoses hooked up to this tank. And we're now going to kill the vacuum and we're going to measure the vacuum decay and it's been 15 minutes. And that means I just lost connection unless my battery is dead. Where's my battery? My battery. battery's still good okay I'm connected there and that means I probably lost connection here so let's start this over again this is on my Android and my Android sometimes doesn't like to let's clear yeah my Android's locked up right now but we know it's at 40 microns not 39 so let's kill the vacuum and we're gonna watch the vacuum decay and the vacuum decay we're gonna watch the vacuum decay right here with the micron meter inside the manifold and we're going to watch the vacuum decay right here what is connected directly to the tank not to the hoses but inside what would be the vehicle or the system you can see it's at 15 microns all right so let's uh kill the vacuum okay the vacuum is now off kill that because it's noisy there we go so we'll let that go for a few minutes and we'll see where that it's already up to 82 microns and we'll see where that goes and we're at 51 we'll let God go for about 15 minutes and see where it goes I'll be back on the next video I'm gonna go do some things and uh, we'll come back and see where it decays to now remember, I gotta stress this. This is ideal conditions. There's no ho there's no rubber hoses here. This is not a car or an HVAC system, uh, split system that has been used. There's never been any refrigerant in here. There's never been any oil. It was on a vacuum pump overnight and brought down clean to 26 microns. So this is the most ideal laboratory special condition that you will not have out on the field. All right, let's come back after a little while. Let's see where that is right now. My thing is uh, not wanting to move. 
having screen problems. All right, be back.